91 Bathroom TV. Ding, 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 ding. I like that this week's episode was like part one of the fight. And that next week's episode will be like the, the actual fight. The good stuff. Like, you know what I mean. Hello ACB viewers, my name is Kevin Jackson, and this is ACB Anime Comics Video Games. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that cop guys. Oh, I've been sick for weeks now. So this episode, episode 5, okay, of season 4 of Legend of Korra, that's what I'm talking about. So this episode, I really liked it, okay? It was like a smooth big like if we had three episodes of Korra, like of where's Korra at? I mean actually four. So including Korra alone and the calling and two more, I think that would be a nice fit for the season. But it's okay that we didn't have it because right now we are part one and part two of the Kuviva for Zafu battle. Kuviva, she's coming to Zafu with an armed force. Just in case, you know, Sulin be like, nah, I don't want you. Like, nah, I don't want you to take over. Like, obviously, she's not going to want to take over. So, she, you know, she came with the armed force. But she was ready. And Bolin, as stupid as he is, finally realizes that, oh, Kuvira's going to take, Kuvira's going to take Sul uh, the Zafu by force now. Oh, finally. And, you know, and Varric realizes that, too. In the first part of the episode, Varric is doing some work and experimentation on some spirit vines. And we realize that they have a lot of power. A lot of power, and that could really want to weaponize the power to use against Zhao Fu. Somebody about to die. Like, <laughs> it was really, it was really dumb because at the end where they had the where Bolin and Varric and they were trying to get out, and you know, like you could have like they, they they had to surrender because they they got captured. But I'm like, you you really could have just ran like 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 no like you you could run like. Like, you could just, just let him die, and he wasn't going to die, because he's done it, and like, shoot. But, like, you're going to get captured and end up, so, like, it doesn't really matter. Um, <coughs> I mean, realize that Varric's servant, or I guess, associate, turns herself over to Kavira, and she's like, you never recognize me, you never had any Kavira recognizes people, so I'm like, dang. She did a complete 180. Like, dang. That's mess though, it's a Varric, but like, I guess it's good for Kavira. So it's a big battle, Korra comes to Zafu and she's like, yo, I gotta do what I gotta do, I gotta be the middleman. She talks to Sulin, and Sulin's like, I don't want you to take over, blah, blah, blah. She talks to Kavira, Kavira's like, I gotta take over, you know, I gotta do that. Ever since that day, you know, I just gotta do it, you know, I gotta take over, you know. And Korra's like, ugh. And she's like, I know you're trying to do a good thing. But for Sulin, but I gotta take over. So it's like the Miniman thing. And it's just a flip and flop episode. It's all right that it's like, it's like a filler episode, kind of like just trying to like build up more time to the fight. That's good because if you just went straight to the fight, I'd be like, uh, Kobe's gonna lose, obviously, because this is the middle of the season. Shoot. And I'm glad it's episode five and episode six is probably the halfway point for the season. So you see, like, the halfway point is like usually when to build up to like, the first, like, the first, like, climax, I guess, or what are you saying? Like, first main fight, you know? But we realize that in an episode that Sulin's going to Kuvira's camp, and she's going to try to take and try and, like, stop them from doing whatever they're trying to do and take over. So I'm like, that sucks. That sucks, but. And we also get some historical, like, stories and what happened between Kuvira and uh, Su Lin and how they broke up and took, you know, her, her, her son with her and all that stuff. So basically, I give this episode like a 7 out of 10. It wasn't as good as The Calling, which I give like an 8 out of 10 because it's really dope with dope music. There was dope music at the beginning of this episode, but it didn't really go through the whole, like, thing. So yeah. So I hope you guys keep watching 
and watch everything. I'll see you next time. That's next ACVG.